Hello, everyone. Welcome to another week of sharing God's Word. My name is Pastor Jonathan. I'm not sure where Pastor Steve is this week, but we're going to be picking up where we left off in Matthew. This time, our reading we're going to do is chapter 2 of Matthew, verses 1 through 12. And I was just reflecting on some of the things Pastor Steve was saying last week, reading through that genealogy, about how surprising it was that there are people in Jesus' family tree who don't fit in to the categories that we would normally think. There's, there's outsiders who are a part of the tree, these Gentiles who make their way into this story. And that theme kind of continues this week as there are these, these wise men or magi who are surprised to hear this news of, of a king being born. And so they follow this star in order to find this new king. And what really strikes me is how surprised Mary and Jesus must have been when all of a sudden, out of nowhere, boom, these, these travelers from far, far away show up at their door with gold and frankincense and myrrh, these gifts that were fit for a king. So I was just reflecting on you know, what does it mean to be surprised? What's that experience like? Uh, uh, Pastor Steve? Uh, yeah, hey, how you doing? What? Have you been here the whole time? Yeah, I take naps in the afternoon right in the sanctuary. It's oh. the quietest place well, to go. Well, that's certainly a surprise. So, hey, hey, everybody. So, oh. uh, what, what are you studying? Well, I was just uh, telling the people about the visit of the Magi in chapter 2 of Matthew. Oh, that's so surprising. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So Mary oh. and little baby Jesus are surprised by these visitors. Yeah. They're not a part of God's normal family, the Jews. They're these outsiders. They're all the outsiders. Can I tell you a story when I was surprised once? Yeah, when were you surprised, Pastor so Steve? So I was working at another church here in town called... First Lutheran Church. I've heard of it. You've heard of it. Mm -hmm. It's the other church. And so love them, love all the members and everybody there. And this one time, the quilters invited me downstairs. You know, Signe, who is in, in charge of everything, invited me down. And I go down there. And you know what they did? They gave me this exact quilt. Wow. And look what's written on it, Jonathan. It's got... Patience, kindness, faithfulness, mm -hmm. gentleness, love. Yeah. What, are, what are all these? These are very nice words. Where do they come from, Well, Steve? we're sharing God's word, and it's from Galatians chapter 5. It's all the fruits of the Spirit. Oh, okay. And so I love being able to just take a nap here in the sanctuary because, you know, I only work one day a week. Sure. And so I got to rest up for the next day, you know, that one day. And so I just love having this and being able to remind myself that kindness is a part of the spirit and, and everything. So I was really surprised to receive it. And I have it in my office. I bring it home and I sleep with my dog sometimes with it and oh. my wife. So it's, it's all over the place. That's so. such a nice surprise to, so, yeah. to receive. What about a surprise for you, Pastor Jonathan? You know, it, it's kind of a surprise that that led me into ministry in the first place. I, I uh, gosh, it was about four years ago now. I woke up one day, and I don't know, it was a Sunday morning. Maybe mm -hmm. I was feeling guilty. I hadn't been to church for a long time. Mm -hmm. So I looked up a church online and, and went to it. And sitting there in the pew, I was just struck, surprised by something the pastor said that made me think about some things in my life, yeah. some things that people had told me about mm -hmm. going into ministry that I never really took seriously. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it was kind of like a, one of those light bulb moments mm -hmm. that just kind of, I wasn't expecting it. Yeah. And so I, I had to keep going back to that church and eventually I got more and more involved there, helping out and going to Bible studies and things like that. And, and the Pastor suggested I look into going to seminary. So oh, wow, surprise and after surprise. Here I am. Surprise. Yeah, yeah. It's amazing uh, those mysterious ways that the Spirit can work. Yes, 
and, uh, and uh, bring you to the sanctuary and take a nap. <laughs> yes, <laughs> exactly. So. Well, we're wondering, what, what have you been surprised by? When have you been surprised in your life by God's presence? So we'd love to hear your answers. And before we close today's video, shall we end with a prayer, Pastor Steve? Sure. Let's do that. All right. Dear God, we give you thanks for caring for us and for coming to us in all kinds of surprising ways. God, when, when we are feeling tired or, or guilty or, or restless, you send your spirit and give us gifts that surprise us, gifts of, of curiosity, of joy, of receiving a gift that, that we weren't expecting. Give us faith to open our eyes and hearts to see all of those wonderful surprises around us. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And so please uh, hit like and subscribe if you're on social media, and we will see you next week sharing God's word. Thanks, everyone.